Liverpool has found their new hotter. Liverpool currently need a midfielder more than a new offensive player, but the Reds remain their big picture priority. At the moment, they may not need another striker, but someone they were previously linked to is also linked to Arsenal. Tim Spires said in a season preview podcast, Pedro Neto hasn't been very eye-catching in the last two months of last season, but he scored ahead of the season and looks totally in shape. People may have forgotten, but he was by far the outstanding player of the Wolves during that pandemic season. I know that people who have worked very closely with Hotter consider Neto to be better or definitely higher potential, and I agree with what I've seen. If Raul Jimenez can get back to the level he was at, the Wolves may surprise a few people this season. With his speed, an elite ball handling and good, competent decision-making in the final third, Neto is exactly the kind of player Liverpool should appeal to. It looks like it will take a lot more than £29 million transfer marked worth to get him away from Wolves. Another striker will be needed if Roberto Firmino leaves Liverpool next summer and the Portuguese player, who will just turn 23, looks like it's worth paying more. Links have emerged suggesting the Wolves who signed Goncalo Gages this week, could allow Neto to make a move on the Midland side. London has reported that Neto is a possible target for Arsenal before the end of the transfer window. But Arsenal are currently considering different options as Mikel Oteta continues to reshape the Gunners side and has just returned from a long-term injury. But if Neto returns to their previous level next summer, most European clubs will likely chase Neto. Neto is in the 91st percentile for progressive passes taken and in the 94th percentile for shots taken. The most similar player in style is listed as Liverpool link Bukayo Soccer and Luis Diaz, who arrived in January. Diaz's resemblance may show that Liverpool don't need Neto, but Neto can play both in the centre and on the right. This versatility will be a big draw as a first backup like the Hotter but it will be the long-term successor to the current first-choice front three. Hotter came in as a backup, but has proven himself and now faces the challenge of doing it again. Thierry Henry said of Neto last year, I love him so much. It's not easy to have everything on his shoulders. What I love is that he's not afraid to beat people outside. I like that. He can cross with his right, he can finish with his left. He always wants to make a move and attack the defender. It's not easy to do it at such a young age, in a team where you don't have the ball often and can't dominate the game. I think he performed extremely well. If there's any hint that he's available, then Liverpool should be taking a look. Next summer, when he will become more certain about his injury and Firmino's future, may be the ideal time. Marcelo Brozovic bomb from Liverpool. Liverpool have been interested in Croatian international and Inter Milan star Marcelo Brozovic for some time, and the latest news is indeed intriguing. Last week, Italian news sources claimed that the Reds are preparing a move to hire the Nerazzurri midfielder this summer. The news that came three days ago mentioned the interest of Merseysiders and announced that no official offer has yet been received to Serie A giants. Today, Spanish news outlets claim that Liverpool have been following the situation closely for some time and are ready to make an offer to sign the former Dinamo Zagreb player in the final days of the transfer window. The Reds are reportedly starting to act and may soon be able to offer a three-year deal to sign Brozovic. Initially, it would be a two-season contract with the option to extend for another year. He could have left the San Siro team earlier this year despite signing a four-year deal with Inter for a net 6.5 million euros per season. Manchester United and PSG had interest in the Croatian player. The 2018 World Cup finalist has won all the major local awards in Italy and had a fantastic performance against Liverpool at Anfield in last season's Champions League round of 16. Klopp confirmed that Naby Keita had returned from injury and could play against Palace, but the injury-prone Guinea was unable to justify its large price tag and remained inconsistent. Oxley chamberlain was impressive in his first season under Jurgen but has never been the same player for the Reds since he was injured in the game against Roma and the English midfielder is currently injured. Thiago Alcantara is another player with consistent fitness issues. Since joining Liverpool in 2020, he has not managed to complete a single campaign without spending too much time at the treatment table. 
In the opening game against Fulham this season, the Spaniard suffered a hamstring problem and is not expected to return soon. It is clear that Liverpool need to strengthen the midfield before the summer transfer window closes. Should a contract be offered to Lo Marcelo Brozovic? Liverpool reach long-term deal with striker with 41 goals. Liverpool's academy player, Oakley Kananya, is rewarded after his outstanding progress and a new long-term contract has been agreed. Kanania scored 41 goals in all competitions last season and mainly represented Mark Bridge Wilkinson's under-18 team. The 18-year-old has since jumped into Barry Luter's under-21 group for this season, proving that his quality is above the lower age category. He did not participate in the Reds' pre-season tour to the Far East this summer, despite last season's U18 stars Malcolm Fraundorf and Stefan Basetic travelling with the team. The young star trained with the first team before Liverpool's penultimate round. Kanania is also known for his quick thinking, being Trent Alexander-Arnold's ball boy who caused Divock Origi to kick off his famous shot against Barcelona, which put the Reds 4-0 up that night, replacing the team in the final. The talented youngster first joined the Reds as an under-12 player from his hometown of Leeds United and will be eager to continue his development in the same way that people like Curtis Jones and Trent Alexander-Arnold have accomplished in recent years. Journey from academy prospects to first-team beginners. Two more signatures from Liverpool. Liverpool have already wrapped up a number of contract extensions that need to be settled this summer, and Mohamed Salah is one of the most important deals. This week Harvey Elliott's contract was extended, and last week he signed a new long-term deal with Diogo Hotter on improved terms as a reward for their progress. Still, there are a number of other players on the agenda whose futures need to be resolved. Next summer, the contracts of Naby Keita, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and James Milner, as well as Roberto Firmino, will expire. Here are my comments on these names. Naby Keita has always been a point of contention as long as she has been a Liverpool player. However, Guinea proved last season that he can stay in shape and be a very good roster choice for Jurgen Klopp. Next summer, Oxlade-Chamberlain and Milner could drop and lose three midfielders amid a determination to sign only players in that position if they are excellent, what may seem like an unnecessary addition to the Reds' to-do list. After returning from illness this week, there's a really good chance Cater will start Monday night against Crystal Palace. In such a match, we should not hesitate to put him in the game, especially at Anfield. Even if he came in for a hefty £52 million fee four years ago, he probably wouldn't be the first name on the squad's roster, but as a fourth or fifth choice Liverpool could do much worse. If only one of Firmino and Cater had signed a new deal, Guinea would probably have nodded. He's younger and probably plays a bigger role on the team these days. After a promising availability record last season, there may be a Liverpool future for him, especially given Thiago's injury issues. But Firmino must be the first to be invited to the table. First, he has earned this respect from the club. If Liverpool have any plans to retain the £29 million Brazilian, they need to act. Likewise, ambiguity can be part of his somewhat indifferent form. There were signs of a pre-season revival, but he was unable to show himself against Fulham. That won't change the fact that Firmino has undeniably left the bright peak of their power behind but Liverpool shouldn't be too quick to wipe him out. His unique skill set makes him well suited to go deeper and deeper and may remain a viable roster option in multiple positions for years to come.